analysts are becoming more and more confident that U.S. inflation will either remain at the current level or accelerate. Against this backdrop, the market sentiment has changed. If U.S. inflation stays high or resumes rising, the Federal Reserve is likely to start cutting the Q rate a bit later than anticipated. The process may begin only in the summer. What's more, the European Central Bank could become the first among the main central banks to start loosening its monetary policy. Such an assumption was made yesterday by Vice President of the European Central Bank, Luis de Guindos. And this fact should have boosted the greenback. Instead, the US currency was a losing value. It's a new wonder as the markets often move in the opposite direction ahead of an important event. The publication of the US inflation figures is a long-awaited event for markets. Even if inflation remains the same, the US regulator is likely to postpone the key rate cut, and this, in turn, will support the US dollar. Let us take a look at the euro-dollar pair chart through the prism of a technical analysis. Although the euro increased against the greenback, the quote closed the previous day within its range. Buyers may face a resistance level of 1.10, and the quote may start falling near this level, as the traders are likely to start locking in profits on long positions. In the event of this, the PMA may slide below 1.0950. At the same time, the price consolidation above 1.10, at least on the 4 hour chart, may lead to a further rise in the euro. And this price movement will confirm the currency's recovery after the correctional cycle. Meanwhile, the pound dollar pair showed an upward dynamic, thus re reaching an upper limit of the sideways channel of 1.26 and 1.28. From a technical point of view, trading based on a sideways channel is divided into two stages. At first, the price hovers for a short period of time, which leads to an accumulation process. A breakout method is the main stage that may result in a price movement. And that's all for now. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and see you in several hours. We will take a close look at the US trading station.